Hey everybody, squirrel season opened up here in Oklahoma yesterday and I am overrun with the little devils. I am fixing that to thin a few of them out in my yard. Look what they've, they've started doing. They're chewing holes in the eave of my house. That ain't gonna work. I come home a couple days ago and one of them was on the back porch. He was chewing on the siding. I, I don't even know why he was doing that. But if uh, they wanna come in the house so bad, I've decided that I'm gonna invite them right on in for dinner. We're gonna make a big old pot of dumplings out of them. I'm gonna start hunting them today with that mini crossbow. I made up some new bolts that I'd planned on hog hunting with. Uh, they accept broadheads and I was wanting to give them a test run. Let me get upstairs and I'll, I'll show you what we got and we'll lay out the game plan for the afternoon. Okay, here's what we got right here. If you've been following the channel, you've seen the little mini crossbow. We've been, we've been shooting squirrels and rabbits and even a couple fish with it. These were the bolts we were using to shoot squirrels and rabbits and they're just not real consistent. I don't like them much. Uh, and I needed something that would accept a broadhead, so I took me some crossbow bolts and I cut them down to 11 inches and uh, got some turkey fletchings, some turkey feather fletchings, and let me show you why. This front sight is real narrow and I couldn't find anything that would, uh, would go through it. And the fletchings hitting the front sight would throw it off. So I use turkey fletchings that way when I shoot it they fold down as they go through and it doesn't seem to affect the flight any at all. But these things right here are heavier and extremely consistent to shoot. So the game plan is I'm gonna take just a little bit of corn and I'm gonna sprinkle it outside the back window of the house. And then I'm gonna open up the, the window and just use the house for a blind. That way I can sit around and watch television and, and hunt squirrels at the same time. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get down there and, and uh, get that done. All right, we're all set up now. We gotta do is just get quiet. It won't take them long to find that because my yard is overran with it. We'll kill all the lights so it's dark in here so they can't see in real well. We'll see if we can get a couple of them shot. We got three of them out there messing around right now. There's one by the pine tree, one on the steps. And... Oh, there's the other one right there. There's a fourth one out there by the satellite dish. That one ran up the steps. He's sitting there eating an acorn. I don't believe that. Let me get the light on. Hold on. There's no way I missed that squirrel at that distance. Ain't that what bow hunters say? He must have ducked my arrow. I think that's what we're supposed to say. We'll run the video back in slow motion and then y'all can see he ducked my hair. I'm a crack shot. Good grief. Oh, he didn't go far. He just landed right over there in the yard. Well, I got him. He didn't go too far, but I'm just not real impressed with the performance of these bolts. I, I didn't even get a clean pass through. Maybe, maybe went in three inches. Squirrels are pretty light skinned animals. It shouldn't take much to get a clean pass through. So maybe it'll perform different with broadheads, but if I can't get it to do no better than that, I'm definitely not gonna hunt a hog with it. We'll, uh, We'll give it another chance before we give up though. I got to thinking about it and I didn't give that bow a fair shake. The, the problem wasn't the bow, it was the field tip I'm using, just kind of blunt. Uh, I made these for broadheads, so we're gonna, we're gonna put a broadhead on there and, and do it right. I guarantee this will get the penetration we want. I'm still not sure about a hog yet, but uh, I know it'll get through a squirrel. I mean, that thing shot through a gar fish the other day. And if y'all know anything about gar, they are thick skinned. So I don't think it'll have any problem getting through a, through a squirrel. We're gonna, we're gonna get this loaded up and uh, wait for another one. All right, I told you that that broadhead make the difference. This arrow went 
plumb through it and didn't even slow down. It's probably 10 foot on the other side of where the squirrel was. He just ran over here and died. There we go, there's number two. I don't know, I still think maybe I might need something just a tidbit more more powerful for for hogs. If y'all got any suggestions, let me know. I mean, this will get it done, I have no doubt. I'm not real naive about it. We're talking about like a 30, 40 pound hog, not you know a 250 pound hog. We like to eat the little ones anyways, but I still may try it on a, on a small hog. I'll look around, see if I could find a crossbow pistol that's got a little more oomph. I don't know, y'all let me know if y'all know of anything. I sure appreciate y'all watching and uh, we'll catch you next time.